Hello. How to build a modern Stickley Morris chair. The Morris chair by Gustav Stickley is probably the most famous piece of furniture from the American arts and crafts movement. You can build your own updated version of this classic piece and wow all your friends. Instructions. Things you'll need. 2. 10 foot long 2x 4s. 4. 8 foot long 5 inch x 3 fourths inch planks, white wood is fine. 4. 1 inch wide and 1 and 1 half inch deep corbels. 1. 15 inch x 22 inch piece of 3 fourths plywood. Tape measure. Circular or table saw. Miter saw. Jigsaw. Drill. Self sinking wood screws. Pocket hole jig. Clamps. Wood filler or screw hole plugs. Sander slash sandpaper. Paint or stain. Lacquer. 1. Make these cuts. From the 2x4s. 4 pieces at 1 and 1 half inch x 1 and 1 half inch x 24 and 1 fourth inches, legs. 2 pieces at 1 and 1 half inch x 1 and 1 half inch x 34 inches, back. 2 pieces at 22 inches long, no trimming, inside supports. 2 pieces at 12 inches long, no trimming, inside supports. From the planks. 2 pieces at 4 inches wide x 25 inches long, arms. 2 pieces at 4 inches wide x 15 inches long, side rails. 2 pieces at 4 inches wide x 22 inches long, front and back rails. 1 piece at 4 inches wide x 23 inches long, back support rail. 4 pieces at 4 inches wide x 18 inches long, back slats. 6 pieces at 2 and 1 half inches wide x 14 and 1 fourth inches long, side slats. 2. Sand all surfaces. 3. Build the sides. Measure up 6 inches from the bottom of two legs. Lay the legs flat, and place a 4 inch x 15 inch side rail between them. Make sure its bottom is flush with your mark. Attach, you can either screw through the leg or pocket screw from the rail into the leg. Using pocket screws, attach 3 evenly spaced 2 and 1 half inch side slats to the rail. They will be flush with the top of the legs. Stand your side up and attach the arm. The will hang over the inside edge, the edge where the slats and rail are flush, by one half inch. It will hang over the outside edge two inches. It will hang over the front edge two inches and over the back five inches. Finally center and attach a corbel to each leg so that it is flush with the bottom of the arm. See image for your finished side. Repeat with a mirrored version for the other side. 4. Span the two sides using the, 2. 4 inch x 22 inch rails. Place one at the back and one at the front even with the other 4 inch rails and flush with the inside edge of the legs. Using a jigsaw, cut out 1 half inches wide and 3 inches deep from both sides of the 4 inch x 23 inch rail. See diagram. Attach. Its widest part will sit on top of the arms. 5. Build the back. Miter the bottoms of the back the 1 and 1 half inch x 1 and 1 half inch x 34 inch pieces, at 12 degrees. Span the two pieces with the four back slats. Measure down 1 inch from the top and space evenly. 6. Attach inside supports. Place the two x 4 inside supports 3 fourths inch down from the top of the side and center rails. Screw into place. 7. Attach the plywood seat. It will fit snugly between the sides and center on top of the inside rails. Make sure it is flush with the top of the rails. Attach. 8. Attach the back. Attach it so that it leans against the upper back support and the mitered ends are down and flush on top of the plywood seat. 9. Fill all holes with wood filler or plugs. Sand smooth. 10. Paint or stain to your liking. Apply two coats of lacquer to protect your chair. Sand lightly between coats. Tips and warnings. You can make or buy cushions to make the chair more comfortable.
traditional arts and crafts furniture making employs mortise and tenon joints. This chair does not. Never paint or stain without proper ventilation. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.